Hey guys, this is another devlog video of my round base survival mode game. This week I focused on getting the new character and weapon rig set up and I also made some updates to the UI and some final tweaks to the turrets. So when I finished last week, I had the turrets working correctly. They were very snappy and were very overpowered due to the fact that they instantly locked onto the enemies. I tweaked the code a bit so that they would smoothly move to their target rotation. Not only did this move at the turret movement, but as I can adjust the movement speed, it means the turrets don't instantly lock on to enemies, allowing me to balance them and not be so powerful. So the next step was to get my custom animation pipeline set up in order to start being able to create custom animations for the inventory system. I'm using the Mixmo rig set up in Blender. This allows me to use animations from Mixmo and then create variations and edits of my own. With this setup and the project changed over to this new character rig, I can now start rigging and creating custom animations for the weapons and gadgets. It was important to get this setup done, as ideally you need to animate the weapons and gadgets along with the character, so that they can have matching custom animations for the different items. I'm using the KA47U as the test bench, which I think is pretty much a finished setup. It has its own custom reload and equip animations, we also have a match and equip and reload animation for the character to match it. I managed to finish the inventory section of the UI. The player is now shown a custom icon and name of the weapons in their inventory and it also highlights the currently selected item. I'm pretty happy with the general layout of the UI now, but later on I would need to work on the final art assets for it. So I mentioned in the last video that I wanted to start blocking out a new level. As I wasn't happy with the previous one, I started gathering reference for the new level, which is going to be influenced on the Azor Steelworks, which we are going to be defending. I have a rough idea of how I want it to lay out, but it's a pretty complex type of environment, so I really need to spend some time breaking down the uh, different elements and make it up. As you can see, I've started to break down the different elements, such as the steel framework, pipes, railway tracks, gas containers, etc. I'm thinking there will be the main steelworks in the centre, being the main player area, which is then bordered by some uh, you know, random uh, buildings, etc. So that's it for this week. Feel free to leave any feedback or suggestions for me. Cheers, see you next week.